Well, today I'm going to be telling you how to make cleaning a sink full of dishes uh, not an overwhelming chore, but how we can tackle it and finish it in no time and how you can get from here, which is, you know, which looks overwhelming that you have a full sink of dishes to a nice and clean and empty sink. So what I like to do is I like to segregate all my dishes. So I like to start off with the spoons. So I give each of them a good uh, wash with some sponge and uh, a dish soap. And after that, I like to rinse them and then let them drain off in a colander. And after that, I like to uh, put them in on a on a uh, kitchen towel or a kitchen napkin and then give them an individual wipe and put them away. So if I put a timer, I realize that it did not take me more than seven minutes just to wash the spoons, drain them and wipe them and keep them away. It depends on, of course, how many spoons you have and how many. So it might even take a lesser time, a little bit more. And then I have an organized place in my drawer for all my cutlery. So as I wipe them, I just put them all the forks, the tablespoons, the teaspoons. I like to put them all individually so I can reach out and get them. I don't have to search for a tablespoon especially having a cooking channel, you know, you need a teaspoon at hand, you need a tablespoon, sometimes you need a fork to beat an egg. Then I have my other cutlery uh, kept away in another uh, small little, um, what do you call this, some kind of, you know, tray, organizing tray. So I have uh, all these other little things like little graters and a lime uh, squeezer and a garlic masher. So I like to keep all of them also at hand so I don't have to search for all these things. This is like an appam or a pancake or a turner. This is a pizza cutter. Um, so... You know, everything goes into my drawer in a very organized way and I know exactly where, even if I have to, you know, I'm blindfolded and I know where I have to reach for my teaspoon or my tablespoon, I know where it is. Then what I like to do is I like to organize all the other big spoons. So I have all my longer spoons and wooden spoons and in one particular stand and then I have the smaller spoons uh, you know, into another stand. So that way everything is pretty organized. So after I wash my spoons and I wipe them, I know that they have a particular designated space. Like even here, I have, you know, my strainers and my pizza cutters and my brushes. So everything has a place. So that also makes your work easier if you're washing, you know, uh, spoons or dishes. You know exactly after wiping them where they have to go. So... After I finish tackling all the cutlery, the next thing is I go for the plates. So I rinse all the plates very well. I give them a good wash with uh, water and uh, uh, and liquid soap. And, uh, and then after that, after giving them a nice thorough soapy wash, and uh, I just let's drain them. I mean, I just wash them under running cold water, give them a nice good rinse. And then I just put them out, you know, in my kitchen window, I have a small little stand. So I put all of them over there so they get nice and drained out. And sometimes I like that. I like to, you know, if there's a nice, it's a nice sunny day. Then I like to give it a nice sunning. And then I wipe up everything and put them in their places. So I have the big plates in one place. I have the small plates in one place. I have the power bhaji plates in one place. So I have a draw again, a designated area. Now my glass where I like to wash them as I use them. I don't like to keep them in my sink to wash later. So as and when I'm using my glassware, I wash it. And then I go for the bigger utensils. You know, with Indian cooking, we have a lot of huge pans and pots. So again, I wash them with a nice, uh, good soap and water. Again, I drain them in my kitchen window. And if it's a lovely sunny day, then I give them a good sunning of at least one hour. That even drains off all the water. And then, you know, after wiping them, again, I put them back in a drawer. So everything has a place in my kitchen. 
and that makes it really easy. And then, of course, the glass bowls and everything go into another cupboard, the glass plates, the soup bowls. So after wiping those and washing those again, I put them in. So like I said, I wipe my plates after giving them a good sunning and... Uh, you know, put them according to size. So the smaller plates are kept together. Now, my plates also took me about exactly eight minutes. I was actually timing myself. And after washing everything, you know, just put some soap powder or detergent powder, take a brush and just scrub your sink. Uh, it, it looks so good after your sink is nice and clean. Give everything a thorough wash and, you know, remove all the grime and the dirt. I have a, uh, another video in which I share how I clean my kitchen. I will link uh, that below. So in total, it took me exactly about 20 minutes to get all the dishes washed and sunned. And of course, I wiped uh, the ones which I kept in my kitchen window after about an hour. But even then, after wiping them and keeping them uh, in their place, it took me nothing less than about 7 to 8 minutes. And then uh, what I like to do is I love to listen to my favorite music or I like to listen to some podcast when I'm doing this, uh, you know, washing of dishes. And uh, that makes the work so easy because you're not concentrating, you know, oh God, I've got to do this dishes. You're listening to the music, you're listening to a very interesting podcast and that really helps too. And when you're doing this cleaning, also keep in mind that first of all, you should be thankful that, you know, you have your own little kitchen, you have running water. And then also think about the benefits that you're, you know, keeping a nice clean home. After all, your family is being fed, uh, you know, uh, you're making all your food and everything in this kitchen. You're feeding your uh, family, you're feeding your friends who come over. So just keeping a very good kitchen and, um, you know, it, it really is a good thing. So think of it in a very positive way that I am, you know, uh, the center of the home. I'm keeping the center of the home clean. Uh, this is where everything, you know, I'm cooking everything. I'm giving my family food. I am, uh, you know eating over here in the, I mean, eating out of this kitchen, cooking here. So when you're cleaning the dishes, when you're cleaning your kitchen, just keep a very positive attitude. Don't think of it as a big drudge that you have so much of work to do. Think of it as, okay, I'm doing something to help my family in my little small way. And like I said, if you break up the work and, uh, like for example, the glassware, I wash it as and when I'm using it so that, you know, doesn't hold up in my kitchen. And if you break up everything into dishes like the spoons and the plates and the big dishes, uh, then, you know, it also helps. Uh, another thing that I like to do is, for example, if I'm having a cup of tea, what I like to do is immediately when I finish having my tea, I like to scrub my cup and, you know, just uh, give it a good rinse uh, of soap and water. And uh, after I've nicely rinsed it under some running water, I like to like to immediately wipe it with a clean napkin and... Uh, you know, preferably cotton and clean napkins. I'll talk about that in some time. And then put away your cups immediately. You know, instead of just let it, letting it lie around the house for, an, for the whole day, as and when you use things, just put them back. Now, stuff which has got a little bit of extra oil or grime, what I like to do is I like to just pour in some water. If you have the advantage of having hot water, just pour hot water into that oily, greasy pan. And after some time, just give it a thorough wash with nice soap and water. And after you've washed it, just wipe it down with a clean kitchen towel and then store it away immediately. Now, one very, very, very important tip I like to share with you is at the end of the day, whatever napkins you have used, first of all, keep at least, you know, three or four and then put them for wash. If you have the advantage of, you know, uh, washing them with some little bit of hot water for a 10 minute cycle, do that. Use fresh, fresh napkins. Keep about four of them. Have one for cleaning, wiping down your vessels have one for cleaning the platform so have different uh, napkins too and in that way you'll have a very organized and clean kitchen 
So I hope you liked today's video. If you did, then don't forget to give it a big like. Do share your uh, uh, hints on what or your uh, what do you do to keep your kitchen clean, and what do you do to make your work lighter uh, when you're cleaning your utensils in your sink. And um, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button uh, if you liked my channel. Go and explore my channel. I have a lot of recipes, a lot of vlogs. Uh, and uh, stay tuned to my channel. I have loads and loads of uh, videos coming up. So hit the bell so that way you'll get a message that Akshada's recipes has come up with a new video. And uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, then let me know in the comments box below. Or even if you leave a thumbs up, I'll know that you liked videos like this and I'll make some more. And uh, thank you so much for watching uh, my videos. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.